Hello, I am here to show you some of the basic ways we're going to use Digo in our expository writing class. And then I want to show you what it looks like to highlight the terms of the week in your actual post. So here I am at our group page where everything that all of us do and save to our group will show up. So if you ever think, I think I just uh, added a bookmark, a sticky note, I'm not positive it worked, you can always go to this page, scroll around and see if what you did shows up pretty cool. So first let's play with Digo itself. I'm going to assume that you've installed the Doogle, <laughs> the Doogle, I can't even talk. Let's assume that you've installed the Digo toolbar. Now if I'm like, well I don't know if I installed it right. Well I know in this browser right now that I have installed it right because I see this little D over here. That wouldn't have been there beforehand. But in Firefox if you're like, I'm not sure if it's there, you can click Tools, Add-ons, and then it should show up in one of your list of add-ons. Great. Um, now what if you say, well I didn't install the full toolbar, I just want to use Digo Let. Remember that button that you drag up onto the toolbar. Well I'm going to go over here to Google Chrome, another browser, where I installed Digo Let. You see it, the button up here which I dragged. Um, if I click that, it should make this little bar show up and then I can use Digo just as well as I can use it if I installed the other toolbar. The only difference is that over here in Firefox where I had the toolbar installed, every time I go to a web page that has Digo content showed, like if I've highlighted something, if I have a bookmark, it will automatically show up. But here in Chrome where I have Digo let, if I click something and there's Digo content there, I'm only going to see it if I remember to click the Digo let button every single time I go to a new page. That's the main difference between the two. So let's look at highlighting really quick. Say I say, to, I'm reading along, do to do, this is so great. Oh, this is a really great sentence. I want to know more about that later. I want to remember it so I don't miss it. How I use it is I select the sentences I want, then I right click it and choose highlight. Yes, there are other ways. I think that's the easiest way. After I click highlight, it's highlighted every time I come back to this page logged in as myself. But highlights, I believe, are inherently private. If someone else logs in and come to this page, they're not going to see that highlight. So what if I want to say something to other people? Well, once I've highlighted something, if I hover over it, do you see that little pencil shows up? That means, hey, you might want to do something else with this highlight. So I'll click that little button, and it says, add a sticky note is the first option. That means I can add a sticky note just specifically to this section. It's a sticky note that's connected to what I just highlighted. So I'll go ahead and do it. I'll say, this is really awesome. Yay for information. Now notice this option here, which is really, really important for our class. If I leave it at private and I hit post, that means every time I come back, I'll see my annotation, but no one else in the world will. So it's much like if I have my own copy of a book and I write some notes in the margin. Well, it's the same thing. Let's, let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. If I click post and then I X out of that, every time I come back to this page, I'll see that whoop, there's one sticky note here and it's highlighted. Um, if I click it, it says private, showing me that, oh, this was something that was just for me. Now, what if I want to say something to all of you? Well, I can say, hey, class. Isn't this awesome? And if I choose our class, Expository Writing Spring 2011, and then click Post, whoa, all of a sudden, this changes to two, showing that there's a conversation going on there. And it shows me that everyone in our class is going to see it. You say, well, what do you mean everyone in our class? Well, that means if you come to this page with the Google Toolbar turned, in, turned on, or you turn on Digo Let after you um, come to this page, you'll see that little number. I think it will only show a number one because one of mine is private. Now, if, again, if you say, I, I don't know if that worked, you can come back to this page, refresh it, and hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers here, aha! What I just highlighted shows up, and then what um, text I typed also shows up. Great. So if you were like, hey, that's really interesting, you as well could come click the little button and add your own note on the same thing. So in theory, we could get in a little conversation over what we're reading in class. Very awesome. Now, this is really important. Um, adding a sticky note to a piece of specific text is different than adding a sticky note to an entire page. Let me show you an example. 
Um, if I click comment up here, I have the option to comment on the whole page or add a floating sticky note to this page. Let's try add a floating sticky note. If I just say, here I am, a floating sticky note. See where that shows up? It's way up here in the middle of nowhere. Well, that's going to be important when we're highlighting things on our blog post because if you say, add a floating sticky note to the entire page and you say, this sentence right here is my use of the rhetorical term of the week. Well, then I'm not going to know which sentence you mean. But if you highlight something first and then add a sticky note to that sentence, I'll see exactly which sentence you mean. So let's do this actually in practice. Here I am at a blog hosted by Blogger, which is the same as blogspot.com, and I'll write a test post. I'll paste in, oh, I don't want to paste that in, blah, 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 blah. That's really nice. Um, I'll publish the post and I'll view it. Remember, please do not highlight any of your sentences until you've already posted your post. Now, I want to draw your attention to something here. Um, you'll see that we're on the page here with just that single post. There's nothing here except this post. One reason I know that is because if I look at the address bar, there's all this stuff up here. You know, there's, there's the .com and then there's like the year, the month, and the name of my post. Well, that's important because that reminds me that I'm on a page with just my post on it. And that is where you want to do your Digo highlighting of your two terms of the week. Let me show you what you don't want to do. If I click the header, I get to the main home page of my blog. I know that because up here, there's none of that fancy extra stuff there was a second ago, right? So now I'm going to scroll down and all of my posts show up in reverse chronological order. Okay. If I highlight something here using Digo, it's not going to show up when I click the name of the post and go to the page just for that post. In other words, the way Digo saves the highlighting and comments on any given page are based on this URL information. So um, I ask that you always, always try to remember to first go to the page where your post itself is, which you can double check by looking up there, and then start your highlighting. So to do this should be very, fairly easy. Um, I'll highlight this first part and I'll say, um, I'll right click it, choose highlight, then I'll hover over it, click this little thing, add sticky note, and I'll say, this is the they say, I say template of the week. If you want to be super helpful, you can say chapter two, summary. That's up to you. Then I'll save it to our group, then I'll hit post. I'm going to have to go back and delete all these later. Pretty funny, huh? Then you'll be like, oh, this is the rhetorical term of the week. Same thing. Right click, highlight, hover, click, add sticky note, rhetorical term of the week. Again, if you're really nice, you can say week I don't know what week we're in. Week three, um, anaphora. Um, you don't have to be super fancy. Just I just want you to draw our attention to it. Again, I'll save it to the group so that I can see it, so you can see it, but really no one else in the world. Only us, us people in this group will see it. Click post. Great. Now, you see in theory what this means is that if you post this and say, this is the rhetorical term of the week, someone else who might visit your, your blog, say someone else in the class, can go in and say, um, I think you really screwed that one up, dude. But you'll say it in a nicer way than that. Then you, again, you save it to the group, and the person will get to see your answer on that. Pretty sweet, right? I think so. Now, um, if I'm over here in um, Chrome using Digolet, it's about the same thing. Now let me show you something. I'm going to click the Digolet button. Look, that stuff that I highlighted, it doesn't show up. Wait, where'd it go? Did it break? Did it not work? Remember, we're, we're on the home page right now. I have to click to the actual post itself. Click Digolet. Oh look, there's the highlights. They show up here too? Wah! Um, now you notice Digolet gives you the option of that floating sticky note. Same thing. I could add a sticky note up here to the main part of the page. Please don't do that. At least don't do it to draw attention Excuse me, to the two terms of the week. You can do it just for fun or for other interesting things, you know. 
Um, but that should be it. All you have to do is highlight, add your note, and then if you're not sure if it showed up, go back to our page, refresh it, and everything that all of us does, that all of us does, everything that all of us do will show up here. The highlighted part and then what you actually said. And you see it, it comes out as a conversation. So if multiple people, multiple people um, add sticky notes to the same content, it'll show up um, all right next to each other. And this can be a place where all of that gets saved. Um, you're not required to add a little smiling picture of yourself, but you can if you want um, for those conversations. I hope that makes a little teeny bit of sense. If not, they have really good help here on the Digo site. Go ahead and click help poke around, watch some of their videos, and let me know if you are confused. I'll see you on Thursday.